The game's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. We've got baseball on the 4th of July between the Reading Fightin' Phils and the New Hampshire Fisher Cats. Now at the plate, Jose Gomez. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Count is one and two now. 67 degrees are game time temperature. Low with a fastball that time. Two balls and two strikes. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Standing in, Logan Forsythe, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. And it's fouled away. Wagyu's pack isn't really known as the kind of starter that goes deep into games. It's not that he isn't capable, I'm sure. He just hasn't been that guy that works deep into games with regularity. Matty V, I'm not sure it's this guy's fault, but I think it's more the fault of the metrics and the way we look at pitchers now, trying to limit the number of pitches and the number of appearances they have with particular guys in the lineup. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base hurt. runner here with one away. Forsyth leads off first with one away. On the outside black, good pitch called for a strike. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. He'll try it again, three and two. Swing hard liner to left center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. That is first. The right field. Jose Pujols. So now to the plate, Jose Pujols. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. One run scores. Here's a second runner around third. Safe at the plate as it's now a 2 nothing ball game. The center fielder, number two. Into the box, Cornelius Randolph. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. There's ball four. Stepping into the box, Nick Maton. Another first-inning RBI opportunity for him here. Maton. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. The 2-2. Fouled away. Outside and a full count, three and two. Wow, these guys are really grinding out their bats in this one. They're not making any outs easy to get, and that, of course, is having a huge impact on the pitch count. And he misses again, ball four, and that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. Hey, that's the kind of swing you'd like to see a guy take with the bases loaded. He's going for the downs. Popped him up. Knight in foul ground. And that's the second out of the inning. Now at the plate, near Luis Martinez. Eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded and two away. Martinez. And this could be trouble now. It's three and one. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of the spots. And now he's at three and one. And he's put him into another great hitting count. Two out. Base is loaded. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. At the plate, Jack Conley. And a big hit here with the bases loaded could really put this one out of reach early on. 
one and one. Here it is. And it's one and two. Three runs already home here. They try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. Two and two. Here it is. Strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. Coming to the plate now, Roman Fields. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Swing and a miss, good pitch, and it's full now, three and two. I can't imagine he was sitting on fastball at his neck right there. He is going to have to lower his sights if he's going to have any chance. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Batting second. The right field. Carey. Down. Hit on the ground out to short. Reined in. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. At the plate, Ruben Tejada. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The 1-1 home. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a liner. That gets down, and the inning continues. Throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Standing in now, Jose Gomez. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Digging in, Logan Forsythe. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Throw on to first, two gone. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring in the left-handed hitting outfielder, Nick Martini. The 1-1. Is taken for strike two. One ball. Hey, I got to really strikes. commend this pitcher right here. Was able to regroup in between innings. Something happened in the dugout because he's on point coming out for the second. Number 68 is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Standing in, Brock Lundquist. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Takes that one a little bit low. Three balls and a strike now. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Stepping into the box, Cito Francisco took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. The 1-1. Two one. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Striding forward now is the, the DH, Logan Warmoth. He was one for four with a triple in the ball game last night. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Tried to work in the backdoor breaking ball there for a strikeout, but he just couldn't quite get it to come back to the corner. That's a really tough pitch to hit if you can spot it. Good 
Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Digging in, Brian Daniels. Takes this the other way to right. That's in there. Base hit. Stepping in now, Patrick Cantwell. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Ground ball to second. This could be two. Forsyth has it. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Jose Pujols. As we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. A 1-1. One -one. Takes a pitch for strike number two. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? Daniels backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Now that out. Digging in for his second at bat. Cornelius, Cornelius Randolph. He drew a walk his first time up. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you. Just hung in there on that one. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. The 2-2. Two -two. Now he's at the knees and called strike three. Now batting, Nick now Maton. Batting. He drew a base on balls his first yeah. time up. Maton. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Fields is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Leading off the inning, Nash Knight. And they'll need him to get something going here. That ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit, possibly more. Now that center fielder. Into the box now. Roman Fields drops one down here and he'll try to beat it out. And no chance on the throw. So a great effort, but that'll be scored a base hit. At the plate now, number 68. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. Right fielder is on the run. He's there and records the first down. And he might have thought about it at third, but with one away, decides not to risk it. So digging in now, Ruben Tejada. He's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. Fooled pretty badly there as he reaches to poke this one foul. Here's a look over to first, and he's back easily. Hit high and deep out to left. Going back is the left fielder. Gone! To the plate now, Brock Lundquist. Fastball, and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Got him to go after the change there, and that'll run things full three and two. Ball four. 
settling in now. Cito Francisco. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. This is in the air out to right. Pujols is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Logan Wormuth. He drew a base on balls his first time up. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating. And the right fielder is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. All set for the start of the fourth, and that'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop, Raul Rivas. Full count three and two. I think for every player, for every former player, that swing right there is the reason we need to extend the netting without question. Want the fans to be safe. And this is taken in for out number one. Into the box, the near Luis Martinez. Near Luis Martinez. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hey, you think back to the early innings right there. You thought this guy would have been hitting the showers. A credit to him. He's been able to regroup, find his mechanics, and find a way to stay in this game. Right fielder is on the run. He gets there, and that's the second out. Ready for another chance? Jack Conley. He looked to bounce yeah. back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. The count now at two and one. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. Grounded back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw in time and the side is retired. Digging in now, Brian Daniels. He reached on a single in his first try. The 1-1. Hit hard, but foul. The one two it is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. Stepping in, Patrick Cantwell. Patrick Cantwell. The one one. Bases are empty, one man out. And this is swung on and bounced to Forsythe at second. He's got it. And there's out number two. Digging in the switch hitter, Nash Knight. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Ani pops it up. Gomez in foul ground, but this will land untouched. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. This one sinks low on a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run, run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Taylor Saucedo, the six-foot, five-inch left-hander, takes over on the mound now. All ready to go in the top of the fifth and set to go as the third baseman, Jose Gomez.
And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. Uh, tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now, three and two. Fouled off. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. The batter number 13. Ready for another shot now. Logan okay. Forsythe. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. And he fouls this one off. One out, nobody on. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Nick Martini is on deck. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Nick Martini. A 1-1. One, one. A swing and a ground ball to third. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. The right fielder, Jose. Into the box, Jose Pujols. Hit on the ground to short. Scooped up. Off balance throw, but he couldn't get enough on it, so it'll be scored as an infield single. The center fielder, number two, Cornelius. In now, Cornelius Randolph. And it's fouled away. Two down, runners at first and second. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. Ready once again, number 68. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Digging in and looking for more, Ruben Tejada. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. The last at that, Matty D, we heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Now a curveball here, nowhere close. That's in the dirt. It's three and one. Count full, three balls and two strikes. The 3 2 pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Right fielder giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So coming to the plate, Brock Lundquist. It was a walk in his last trip. The 2-2. Two -two. Bases are empty here with two men out. This one's hit deep out to left center field. But it bangs off the out-of-town scoreboard. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Now back, first baseman, Tito Francisco. So now to the plate, Cito Francisco. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Here comes the one and two. Still a ball and two strikes. From the stretch, the one two. Hard hit ball to second, taken in by Forsythe. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. Digging in once again, Nick Maton. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. The 2 2 is laid off, and the count runs full. 
after multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. Another payoff pitch. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitters aboard to start the six. The batter, number nine. Stepping up now, Raul Rivas. Two pop outs for him so far, so he'll look to stay through one here. High in the air out to center field. Fields will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Into the box now, near Luis Martinez. He flew out in his last at bat. Fastball called strike, one and two. And he held up in time, but it's strike three called, and there are two down. Number 23 gets the call from the bullpen to pitch in relief. Jack Conley will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. The 1-1 home. On the line, that's a base hit. Now battle. The third baseman. Gomez. Stepping in now, Jose Gomez. Line drive, base hit to right. The throw home. Ah, but this is well up the line, and he's safe at home plate. The batter number 13, second baseman, Logan Forsythe. Into the box now, Logan Forsythe. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. A ball and two strikes. Two and two. Forsyth with a full three and two count. He really needs to find a pitch to put this guy away with right here, right now. He can't allow this inning to get any worse than it's already become. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Ready with the payoff pitch. And that pitch misses for ball four. So some intrigue now as the bases are loaded here now with two away. Left fielder. And at the plate, Nick Martini. He singled his last time up. Here's the one two high fly ball out to straightaway center and he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away and that ends the inning. The Ellis Guerra enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 57. The Ellis. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and striding forward the designated hitter, Logan Warmoth. Now the one and one pitch. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Now to the plate, the Brian Daniels. Brian. The 1-1 one, one home. Waves and misses for strike number two. Right side. Throw gets him. Two down. Ready now. Patrick Cantwell. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Well. And that misses up and in three and one. One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. And a good pitch, but he gets quite a lot of it. 
And in fact, he got more than a lot of it. He got all of it. It's a home run. At the plate now, Nash Knight lifted into the air out towards center field. Randolph is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Brian Moran is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 48. Seventh inning ready to roll. And next it'll be the outfielder, Jose Pujols. Line towards center field. Fields is there, and he has it for the first out. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Cornelius Randolph. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Too high there and maybe a bit outside as well. 2 and 1. Moran, a 6-4 lefty. He was taken in the second round back in the 2016 first-year player draft. I know this guy hasn't turned out the way everyone expected, but he's still young. I don't think you can give up on a guy that has the tools and he will make the play out there and there are two away now next now will be the designated, designated hitter, hitter Nick Maton here's the 2 1 home and this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play so the count goes to two and two now now the pitch fouled away He stays alive, still two and two. Now here's the pitch. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. Two-two count. He just seems to keep hanging right in there. This one's blooped out toward right center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. The bat, number nine. At the plate, Raul Rivas hit the other way out toward right field. Number 68 is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Luis Carrasco gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Correct. So the lineup flips over and digging in Roman Fields. He was a ground out victim last time up. The 1 1 home. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Martini comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. Now that digging in number 68. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. The 1 1. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. All knotted up, 4-4, the score here in the seventh. Tried to shoot the corner, and he missed it, 2-2. Two and two. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, 3-2. and two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Now in the box, Ruben Tejada. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Ready on one and two. Line to the right side. In there, a base hit. And with that, the go-ahead runs up to second now with only one away. The left fielder, number 32. Lundquist. To the plate now, Brock Lundquist. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Three and one to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Three. 
Weak grounder back to the mound. The second for one. Turn throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two, and it gets him out of the inning. Manny Natoli has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number six. So striding forward now, near Luis Martinez, 0 for 2 for him to this point. Rolled slowly down the first baseline, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again, 3 and 2. He lays off ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. Now that into the box now, Jack Conley. It was a single for him in his last at bat. The 2 1. There's a fastball that misses. This situation right here reminds me of sitting on the bench talking to John Smoltz, Hall of Famer. He would always say, even though the situation looked bad, a pitcher is one pitch away from getting himself out of the tough jam. Crowd gets up for the 3-2. On the ground to the left side. Fielded cleanly. One there on the first. And you can forget about the go-ahead run being on base. He's erased on the double play. Riding in once again, Jose Gomez. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. The 2-2 pitch. Here's a pop-up now. Francisco is there for it, and that retires the side. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and here comes the first baseman, Cito Francisco. And a bouncing ball, foul. The one two. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. Standing in now, Logan Warmoth. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. Now a ball lined toward the gap in left center. And that is down for extra bases. And with nobody out, we'll see if they want to wave that go-ahead run home. Jeff Singer comes on now in an awfully now difficult situation as there are two on here Ryan. with nobody out. Daniel. Stepping in now, Brian Daniels. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. And that is down for extra bases. Is that on a plate to go ahead run and maybe another? And the go ahead run will move up to third and wisely hold there with nobody out. In now, Patrick Cantwell. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. We're in the eighth inning now of a four to four ball game. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count three and two. Gotta love a late rally and listen to this crowd now. They are really into this. Oh and he misses for ball four and he's forced in the go ahead run. One one. Started to chase that time, but then he wisely holds off for ball three. Fouled off. 
tight spot. Base is loaded. Nobody out. Softly hit down to third. Likely no shot at two. They get the force at the plate. Return throw is in time. And what do you know? They do get the double play. Stepping in, Roman Fields. He's one for four for the game. Runners at second and third with two gone. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Would love to have a meeting at the mound right now with the pitcher. Don't understand that pitch down and in with a fastball with two strikes. Maybe he's looking for a ground ball. And he fouls this one off. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line and left. Martini will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Adams Cuevas comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 27. So striding in, Logan Forsythe. It was a walk in his last trip. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Here's the pitch on two and two. Hit back up the middle. And this will make its way into center field for a base hit. And the leadoff man's aboard now to open the ninth. The left field, number 31. Nick. Into the box now. Martini. Nick Martini. And a slider gets away from him here as it just about got him in the ankle. Hey. Two one pitches, a slider taken for a cold strike two. From the stretch. And he takes strike three cold on the fastball. One gone. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Jose Pujols. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Helping him out here as he swings and misses to fall behind a ball and two strikes. Hit on the ground to third. Reined in to second for one back to first it's a double play right when he needed it and this ball game is over man they battled right to the end getting the tying run aboard in the ninth but that's where the threat ended as they turned a double play to finish this one once and for all this evening's game comes to an end 5-4 the final tally the New Hampshire Fisher Cats get their 20th home win this year Vinny Natoli earns his third win of the year in relief. Adams Cuevas records the save, his third of the campaign. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Fleezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.